Yeah, welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you something about the Java FX table view. The table view is the, the equivalent control of the swing J table, so it's a bit more complex, a bit more yeah, a bit more easier to use. You have more possibilities. And I will start with a basic JavaFX application, so we'll just delete some things from our old program. So this is our start part, and yeah, we will need a, a class we want to show in our table. So I will create a new class, call it person. So this should just be a table where you see a person, so the list of persons which with the first name, last name and uh, the birth date. So I will just add this fields. Last name so and birth date. So I put it's not a correct one. So now I add some getter and setter methods. And we will need a constructor as well. So this is our object, uh, our class, where we create some objects and add them to the table. So I will create a table here. It's called table view. I'll just call it table. And yeah, this table view you can tell what uh, kind of objects you will add to it. So we defined it will be uh, objects from the class person. And I will Overwrite the init method. So the init method uh, will here uh, will ini initialize uh, the table. So the init method is a uh, default method from JavaFX. This function will be called before our start function, and so we can use uh, the controls we created here in our start method and add them to our application. So I add this here. And yeah. So I will create a new table here. So as well a person table. And now uh, uh you're right. Now we need there are two things we need. We need to define the layout of the table so we have to tell them which columns you get, you should show, and we need to tell which objects are in the table. So we will go into our person object and define a method where we uh, give back an array list of table columns. So I'll make this static because it should be for every person object. So we use the JavaFX table column. So these are the objects we need to return. Table view. Well, that's not what we need. Yeah. Some imports must be done. So this will return us in the radius of all the columns we uh, we need for or that we want to show in our table we need uh, the table as a parameter yeah because of the size so I will show you later we will define our sites on the size of the table so the column sizes so we will start with this I will tell you later what this is good for uh, I will just copy that So these are our columns, we will return them later, so now we need to fill them and 
Yeah. Yeah, right. So I will uh, add so uh, an array called column name. So choose whatever you want for this. Oops, that was not what I want. Last name and birth date. So these are the column headers. We got two headers for each variable and now we need to add or we need to t store the names of the variables so oh. those are really these here I copy them to demonstrate which exactly are needed here so you can tell you could make such an object but only show two only last and first name in the tables it was um, that would be no problem and at least we define the column whites uh, with so yeah i just choose them all the same size so these are the percent sizes yeah. For sure, we need an integer here. Now we defined how the header should be, which variable names are needed, and the sizes. So now we need to, uh, yeah, those are only stored for us to better read and modificate it. We now need to add this to the real columns, create the columns. So I initialize this with null and create a new table column so here I said this is a table column where a person object will be stored and at the and a string at the so we give it out as a string um, yeah so here we define the column name and that's why I need the i as a variable name so I can just copy paste this easily and change it so now we already got our three columns so I just add them at first name column last name column and our birthday column so but when I add this uh, as this this wouldn't be yeah this wouldn't be bring us too much because they are always empty so now I would have a nice yeah, a nice table with headers but no objects in it because I have to tell them where uh, he should get his information for the table so I tell him first name set cell value factory new property value factory uh, factory and this has to be the same as yeah I don't need to uh, write that down because you already know it but just to show it you it will be person string one and yeah now the argument will be the variable names so I add this and now I can again copy paste this and now we get so I will get an error because I have to change this to date again so if I would have this empty he automatically put it to date so now we defined the content and yeah edit them but we now want to use our white uh, or with variables too so we say prefer white property dot bind so we use the binding object of JavaFX this will mean that you add a white to this table and the table will 
change his size uh, the sorry the column will change its size if the table size index so you put an observable value this will be checked every time it's changing it's changing the column sizes too so there we need the table with properties and yeah Oops. use the divide and here we choose column whites plus plus so now we can copy paste this and yeah the sizes are done so now we only need to add the columns to our table and set the content so we go here and say get columns and add all person dot get columns table automatically set as parameter and now we need table dot set items so this is uh, the content and for this I will create so as you can see here he wants an observable list of persons so I will create a static method here just for demonstrating observable list of persons and yeah this will be an observable list which we will return so fix collections observable list array so and now here's the point where you would add your data um, as you need it dynamically whatever I will just fill in some uh, random data because I have no logic to giving back us these Your new person and your yeah, birthday are just she's new date so whatever that it's just a demonstration so oh, there I deleted the wrong one so just some dummy informations here and yeah now I can say get person dummy and I already got a table I will show you yes, uh, so you see three columns as we defined it three objects we added to it all given out correctly this is basically how uh, yeah how such a table works uh, one additional thing I want to show you is the set on mouse click event so this is called if you click on the table and I just want to show you how you can get the object uh, which was clicked on so I have to say it's mouse event and override the the handle method which is uh, nothing uh, different uh, to the button click we already done in uh, I guess it was the first tutorial here it's in table so I just checking with the get click count if it was more than a single click on it if it was I check if table get selection model get selected uh, index is bigger than null so if it would be uh, nothing selected it would be uh, yeah, less than null and so I'm sure there is an object selected and 
Now the I can get the selected object, so I call the get selected item, and as you saw, it's an sure it's directly a person object I get back here. So I directly can work with this object and get all of the methods: first name, last name, birth date, and so I will just give out the first name here and start this. So now I click here and you see oh yeah you see it's getting already if I click once on it because I forgot to change this to one so I can click here and get the object back so I can do with the object whatever I want not only give out the name so I can give this to another method and whatever yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions leave a comment. Yeah, hope I see you soon.